this time. <laughs> Hi, I'm here with Andrew Ashton, Emma Vanderroos, Marissa Carpenter, Sophia Matheson, Evan Russ, and Sophie Dennis to talk about Honors Choir. If you're planning to audition for Honors Choir as part of your project, they can help you with the experience they had this year at the regional state and all state level if all state had happened, <laughs> but instead was canceled due to the coronavirus. So uh, first let's talk about preparing for the regional audition, which is what you're going to do for this project. Emma. Okay, so you're given your music at the start of the year and then when you learn it, you um, then record it and send it in. And it's usually pretty easy, a pretty easy piece that you can um, learn pretty easily. And then once you find out, they'll email Mel if you're accepted or not. And then you would be given four pieces, four pieces to learn. Uh, yeah, it's four pieces, yes. And you would then spend the next, I think it's like a month or two before regionals and you would be learning those pieces and memorizing them and making sure you're ready for the audition that will happen at regionals for states. And what about the actual day of regional honors choir? Um, the actual day is mostly rehearsal time. And then when you get there, you get your name tag and it has a, a time slot for your audition. And then whatever section you're in, you can be in um, sectionals or you can be all together rehearsing and you just leave about five minutes before and then you go down to your rehearsal or your audition room and um, they're gonna have you sing um, a couple measures of uh, each, a part of each of the songs and then they're also gonna have you sight read um, and then you basically just go back and then keep rehearsing for the rest of the day. And Marissa what happens at the end of the regional day? At the end of the regional day, we all come together and we sing our music. There's two women pieces, two men pieces, and four full ensemble, and you kind of have like a mini concert. And then what? And then when you walk out, there's like lists for state honors choir, so you know right after if you've gotten in or not. And they hand you your music for state honors choir. So Evan, will you uh, walk us through getting ready for state honors choir? Oh, yeah, nice. so yeah, you for get, state. yeah, yeah. So you get around, what was it, five or six pieces for state honors choir, and then you have time to memorize that. How long did we have before? It was like a month or two. It's a month. The, yeah, it's almost yeah. exactly, or like a month and a half. Yeah, yeah. So you get practice tracks for that, and you memorize it individually. And then you have to have it um, mostly all memorized before you get to stay honors choir. And what is honors choir actually like when you get to states? So the first days, like the well, the first like hour of the first day is probably going to be the most stressful hour of your entire life, even though it doesn't really need to be. So the first thing, once you're in your room with your like respective choir, they're going to do memory testing where they're gonna go through like a little section of each piece just to make sure you're memorized. And like everyone freaks out about it, so don't think you're the only one. And usually everyone's fine unless you learn the piece in the wrong language, so. <laughs> but then after that, it's a lot of rehearsal and it's, it's a great time. So once you get through that first hour, it's just all, upwards from there you meet a lot of people sometimes you buy stuffed animals in the gift shop <laughs> there are three choirs there's an SATB group a TTBB group and an SSAA group and this year I was the TTBB director and Evan was in my group and it was a really phenomenal experience um, the directors are chosen by popular vote from all of the directors in Michigan so they are high school and collegiate choir directors who have been chosen um, based on their skill and things like that. Sophie, will you tell a little bit about your experience at States? Yes. So I had um, Dr. Rail as uh, the women's director, and he was a lot of fun. Um, you get to do different things, different music techniques, and you get to learn um, a lot throughout um, the experience. You get to meet a lot of new people that appreciate music. 
and you get closer with everybody. Um, and so you get to, it's just fun. You get to be in a hotel and uh, you get to go to different restaurants and hang out and it's, it's a really cool experience. So. And then your score from states is taken for the all state choir. You do not audition again. And then those scores are added up into the all state honors choir, which is a combination of all three groups um, after cuts. Uh, does anybody want to talk a little bit about whether or not you'd recommend doing honors choir and what you can get from it, even if you're not planning to go into music? <clears throat> I, I suggest it. I think it's it's a great thing for um, to audition for things, to go for things. Um, even if you don't feel comfortable, go for it. Um, it's it's worth it. I hundred percent. I hundred percent say go for it. So. Me too. Think one of the two. Sorry. Go ahead. Um, as someone who's not going into music, I think that it's still something that's worthwhile because like you meet a lot of new people and you can get close to, I know that um, some of the girls still talk to uh, girls in our group. And um, it was just really beneficial for me to go forward and learn new things and learn what I was capable of to carry it into um, the regular school year. I think one of the coolest parts about honors choir is that you're like in groups of 100 people basically and every single one of them wants to be there and is like dedicated to making music and I think that's a really cool experience because there's not really any weak links or whatever like everyone's there to give it their all and it's just super cool. Um, awesome. I also strongly recommend it because um even though you're like auditioning and it's kind of scary in the beginning, when you get the email back and if you do get to go to um, State Honors Choir, it's not all practicing music. It's like you get time to yourself to just experience the kind of the city life on your own with your friends and the new friends that you've made. And it's not all music. It's kind of a mix of music and just having fun. Cool. So thank you. Feel free to contact any of these people if you're interested in learning more. And thanks, everybody.